What is up, wrestling fans? Welcome to episode number 142 of Smack Talk, coming to you from SmarkOutMoment.com. I am your host, as always, Tony Mango, and with me on the mic this evening, we have Miguel Leon. Oh, what, what, what were we talking about, guys? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Steven Wago. Who? Drew White. Oh, we're talking about the hot tags? Oh, no. Oh, wait, it's the introduction? So, oh, hi. And Mike hi. Payton. My name is Mike Payton. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, God. Tonight on the show, we have a main event of a bit of a memoriam for TNA Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to just let it all out, and we're going to talk about a lot of different topics when it comes to TNA not being uh, re-signed with Spike TV. We are also going to talk about the finals of the hottest WWE Divas tournament. We've got some hot tags coming up in the next segment. we got to do some things related to the Fantasy League at the very end of the episode. A little break with the rest hold, and we are on part one right now. And if you are unfamiliar with what that is on the show, that's when we do the wrestling trivia question of the week, otherwise known as the Ask Him. So last week's question, let's backtrack to that one. Uh, If you also are not familiar with how the Ask Him works, what we have is two questions. One is for the panel, and the other one is tied into that, and that's for the audience out there to answer. The question to the panel was, in what promotion did the original Nation of Domination debut? That was USWA, United States Wrestling Association. And the question to you guys was, which members of the original faction were also briefly a part of the WWF version of the stable? The answer was PG-13, J.C. Ice, and Wolfie D. So who got it right, who got it wrong? Uh, My buddy Dane Quinn got that right, sending me a tweet. YWC Anvil, Watchman King 67 both of you got it right as well. We had two other guesses here from Johnny Castaway, said Godfather and D-Lo slash Devon slash whatever the fuck his name is. No, that's not true. And Habit Man said, nice, I already have this one half in the bag. What was the question again? If they're black, I'm going to say the Supreme Fighting Machine and D'Lo Von Braun. <laughs> if that doesn't work, then Kona Crush. Crush a pineapple at the beach, damn it. <laughs> so, nice job guessing those guys. Uh, for those who got it wrong, you don't lose anything either because this isn't worth anything at all. But this week's question is going to be from Mike Payton, so hit us with that, sir. Well, as folks like to know, I usually like to have my Ask Him's revolve around themes that are big this week. And this week, the talk of the town is, of course, Vince Russo. So, my first question to you, the panelists. Vince Russo is known as a man who was a head writer for a number of wrestling companies. This year, though, he secretly worked for a company. Now, I know you guys are going to have a hard time knowing this one because it was such a secret. But what company did he work for? Kayfabe commentaries. (laughs) Was it it? it? It was indeed it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was just a oh, joke I question. It... You worked for TNA. Oh, I thought it was WWE. The serious question to you fans out there, though. Before he was a head writer for WWE, he was actually the editor-in-chief for WWF Magazine. However, he went under a pen name. What was that pen name for Vince Russo while working as the editor-in-chief for WWF Magazine? If you guys think you know the answer or you just want to flat out take a guess, leave your comments below, send a tweet at SmartOutMoment with the hashtag AskHim, and on the next episode we will tell you what that answer is, and we will run down who got it right and who got it wrong. We are going to continue along here in part two with the hot tags of the week, so stay tuned for that. 